my wife is ghosting me in my own home and won't sleep with me because I refuse to take care of a child that isn't mine and now it might ruin the life my biological child has. I, 31M, am married to my wife, Amber, 30F, and we have a daughter, Emma, 7F. The problem is my wife's best friend, Jennifer, 30F, also has a daughter, Harper, 7F. Harper's dad is a lazy sack of crap and refuses to do anything with his daughter. He is the type of guy who brags about how he never changed a diaper. Jennifer and Harper are usually at our house on the weekends because Harper's dad spends all weekend drinking and watching sports. On Saturdays, I normally spend all day with my daughter because I don't see her as much as I want her during the week. However, with Harper being there every Saturday, anything I do with Emma, I have to do with Harper as well. Take Emma to the zoo? It's Emma Harper and me. Teach Emma how to ride a bike? I have to teach Harper too. Take Emma to dance class? Yep, you guessed it, I have to take Harper too, which Amber and I also pay for by the way. Mother's Day was the last straw. I took them both to dance class Saturday morning, and on the way home, Emma asked if we could stop to get something for mom for Mother's Day. I said sure, but then I had to buy something for Harper to give her mom as well. On the way home, I just kept thinking, why am I buying someone else's wife a Mother's Day gift? That's her dad's job, not mine. A few days later, because I did not want to ruin Mother's Day, I told my wife that I am tired of raising Harper. Her real father needs to step up. I am tired of it taking away the time I get to spend with Emma. We got into a heated argument and it ended with her saying that that Jennifer is her best friend and we need to be there for Harper. Now she is not speaking to me and is sleeping in the guest bedroom. Edit. Just wanted to add some updates to questions I see. Emma and Harper are best friends. It was my idea to spend Saturdays with Emma. I work more during the week, so I wanted to spend Saturdays with Emma and give my wife a bit of a break. We pay for things because Jennifer's husband thinks it's a waste of money to pay for dance class, and Jennifer can't afford to pay by herself. Harper's father is the type who believes my money is my money and Jennifer's money is their money, and he does not want to waste money on classes. Jennifer and Harper do things with Amber and Emma one or two times a week during the weeknights. Update 1. So, quite a few people have asked for an update on this situation. Sorry it's taken so long, but it's been a hectic few weeks. As for the updates, Amber and I are fine. Her reaction was based on poor word choices by me, poor communication by both of us, and some things I was unaware of at the time. The short version is, things at home were much worse for Jennifer than I realized, and my wife had only recently found out how bad things were. Mother's Day was the straw that broke the camel's back for Jennifer. She was raised in a you must stay together for the kid's family. When Harper came to me for a gift, Jennifer realized that her daughter did not see her sperm donor as a father, so it was time to get out. Jennifer came to my wife to ask for help leaving because she had no family in the area and did not have the financial resources to leave on her own. The night my wife was going to ask me if we could help her is when I told her I was tired of raising someone else's kid. That's what caused her reaction. The Saturday after our initial argument, Jennifer did not come over and Emma went to her grandparents. My wife and I had a long discussion about what was going on, and that's when I found out all the stuff happening with Jennifer. My wife and I decided that Jennifer and Harper can stay with us for the time being. My problem was never with those two, it was that I had to take over for the absent father. When we told Emma about this, she was super happy her friend was staying with her. We had a conversation with her that if she wants to have time with either parent without Harper, she should just let us know. We do not want her to feel left out of anything. Last weekend, with the help of a U-Haul and some friends of mine, we got all of Jennifer's and Harper's stuff and moved it into our house. The good thing is we have a four-bedroom house, so everyone gets a bedroom. The bad news is my wife's office got moved to the basement. Wish me luck, we shall see how this goes. Update 2. So, it's been almost a year since my last update, but with Mother's Day upon us, I thought I would post an update and try to answer the questions I've gotten. Jen and Harper are still living with us. As I mentioned before, Jen did not make much money, she worked as a phlebotomist for our local health network. The good news is that with the current nursing shortage, they have a program where they will pay for employees to go to nursing school. She was able to start that at the end of August. The bad news is it's an 18-month program, and they only let you work 20 hours a week while you are in the program. So, the arrangement is that once she graduates, she will move out. That should be next May. The divorce with the lazy sack of crap is still ongoing. Once he found out he was going to have to pay child support, he tried every dirty, nasty trick he could think of. No idea when that will be finished. My wife is doing well. She's happy she is helping her best friend, but five people in a house is a lot more work than three. Since she works from home, the pre and post school work falls on her. Emma and Harper are still best friends. Shockingly, Harper is doing much better in this environment than before. They don't do everything together anymore. Harper quit dance class, but she started playing soccer. I think knowing that she will get fatherly attention no matter what she is doing has given her some freedom to pursue other interests. Harper has turned into my Lego buddy. Emma never had any interest, but Harper and I have done some nice sets together. Emma and I still have our daddy-daughter dates on the weekends. I still take her to dance class, and she has started fencing classes. I don't know if I should be proud or scared that she could defeat me in a sword fight. I think I am doing better a year later. Having a plan with a timetable for Jen and Harper has relieved a lot of stress from my life. 
Not having to see Jen's hopefully soon to be ex has also been a relief. I also try to take a few hours a month to do my own thing for my hobbies. The downside is that I thought I was done with the portion of my life where I had roommates. It will also be nice when Jen either gets her nursing job and or gets child support so that Amber and I can stop footing the bill for so much. For all the people who said Jen was going to become our sister wife, or that I was going to cheat on my wife with her, or that she was going to ruin my marriage out of spite, or any of the weird intimate fantasies some of you had, absolutely nothing has happened.